Welcome and thank you for joining this spa yoga practice with me to release the stagnancy of winter. Make sure that you have two blocks or two books handy. You can set them aside for now, but within reach. And either come to sit on your shins, on your knees with me, or you could sit cross-legged on a prop if that's better for your knees or your ankles. And then lift your spine, take a big inhale, and big exhale out your mouth. Just getting into that cleansing sensation already. Inhale and clear it out. Interlace your fingers and stretch your arms up with your palms flipped up towards the sky. Really root your sitting bones and lengthen up through your sides. Lift up through your arm bones with every big inhale and exhale. Stretch up in the spine. Release your hands and interlace your fingers behind your low back with your palms squeezing together. Activate your back muscles to help open the chest. Inhale into your armpits. And see if you can stretch your laced hands back away from you just a little more. On your next inhale, interlace your fingers and reach your arms up, up. If you can, align your biceps beside your ears. And as you next exhale, take your hands behind your low back, clasp your fingers and lift your chest as your back muscles tighten together. Good, keep length in your neck. Release your hands down and walk your hands in front of you come into a child's pose with your knees about shoulder width apart and your arms outstretched take a big cleansing breath <sighs> let yourself ground here think about what you'd like to release anything stuck from winter or recently in a pattern, in a relationship? What would you like to be free from, or at least a little bit freer from? Keep that in your mind. There's always something to release and to let go. Another big breath. <sighs> let it go. Walk both arms over to the right with outstretched arms. Just a little off-center child's pose. Perhaps stack your left hand on top of your right hand while drawing your left sitting bone back to your left heel. Full breath in your left side. Breathe and make more space. Make it feel really good. Slowly walk both hands over to the left, perhaps off your mat. And if you don't feel much, you can explore walking your hands further to the side even. Draw your sitting bones back towards your heels. Breathe into this amazing body. Breathe more light into your body so that as we move towards lighter months, you're feeling prepared. You're feeling clearer for more activity in the longer days ahead. Big breath. Crawl both hands back to center. Walk your hands a bit further forward while drawing your hips back. Be with any little tight spots. Breathe them open. There's no rush in this practice in a spa yoga class. Please take your time. Please choose the option that's best for your body right now. When you're ready, come onto hands and knees. Inhale, arc your spine. Exhale, round your back. Tuck your chin in. And again, inhale, arc your spine. Option to gaze up. And slowly round as you breathe out. Tuck your tailbone under you. Puff up your mid back. Inhale to arc. These are cat cows. Exhale to round. Making more room around this lovely spine. One or two more on your own. Always honor your own pace in a spa yoga practice. No matter what season we're entering into, you go at your own perfect pace. 
all this takes time, especially when we're working to let go and to shed and to transition into new cycles. It all takes time. In tabletop, let's explore a little wrist release. Start spinning your hands out to the sides and rock left to right. A little more weight into each hand at a time while gripping those fingers that you're leaning towards. You can keep rocking side to side like that or for more in the wrists, keep spinning your hands, your fingers face back to your knees with hands shoulder width, gently rock left to right again. Or maybe add in little circles, circle your hips around shoulders, kind of circling around your hands in e each direction. Notice what your breath feels like right now. Where do you want to send your breath right now? I'm so excited to share this full body release with you. <laughs> There's lots to release from the previous season, the previous day even. So switch up the wrist release so that you're now on the backs of your hands so that all fingernails root down, a little sway side to side maybe. If this is too much, just walk your hands closer to your knees. And come on to all fours, just normal hands again, and lift your right leg, cross your right foot off your mat to the left, so you're on the ball of your right foot behind you, and walk your right hand forward four or five inches. Look back over your left shoulder to see your crisscrossed foot. We're getting a nice big open arc in the whole right side of the body. Actively push your right palm down and forward. One more big breath into the whole right side of your body. Feel those right ribs billowing open. Look forward and walk your right hand onto your mat again. Take your right foot and step your right foot all the way forward to the right edge of your mat, hands inside your right foot. I'll recommend hands on blocks or on books. Take a couple breaths to look up, find an opening in the upper chest. And on your next exhale, rock your hips back and straighten your front leg. I'm going to pulse. Inhale, lift your heart up, deep bend in your front knee. Exhale, gently straightening your front leg and pop up onto the front heel as you straighten and fold inside your leg. Again, inhale, bend your front leg, lift your chest. And no rush to straighten your front leg and find a little hamstring release. I'm just kind of rocking my hips side to side ever so slightly in both position because it helps to access different muscles. You could try that too. And then come forward, nice deep lunge, lift your heart. It's a little bit of a back bend. Shoulders draw back. You can set your blocks out to the side and just stay nice and low, but um, do walk your left hand off to the left a, a little and take your right arm up and over your right ear so that your top arm is really close to top ear with top palm facing down. Lean back away from your front thigh. Encourage your right hip back and stretch your top fingers away from that and twist, twist, twist. Lower your hands down gently inside your front foot for a little version of lizard pose. One phase is to keep hands inside foot. I'm going a little deeper because I've got a lot to burn off from the winter. So this is, I guess, a kind of a fiery spa yoga practice. You could nudge your right shoulder behind your right knee, but keep your breath deep as your chest draws low and use your right shoulder to draw your right calf forward. Big breath. So much to release. Thank goodness our breath is here for us. And take time to just untangle yourself. Step your back foot forward and find a standing forward fold at the front of your mat. Align your feet so they're hip width apart. Little bend in both knees. Relax your neck muscles. Hang your head down. Be aware of your breath. Let your breath feel really clearing whenever you need it to. Let your breath help you to kind of shake off that, that stale or stuck or dark energy or sensations. It's okay to have them. And we're here to release, right? never holding on to anything permanently. 
Enjoy this fold. Let it go. Don't hold on in this fold. Let it go. Give yourself permission to sway gently side to side and maintain either fingers on the floor or hold opposite elbows or clasp your hands behind your lower back, working your laced hands over your head towards the floor. Take time to lower your fingers down. Step your left foot about three and a half to four feet back. And we're going to come into a variation of pyramid that is a little bit spicy because we're accessing right hamstrings and your right calf. So with your front leg a little straighter, just drive the edge of a block or a book under the ball of your front foot so your front heel is on the ground. Your hands can be on blocks or the floor. Can you get both legs straighter just a little? Can you rotate your outer left hip forward more? And even though you're folding, invite in a bit of a back bend, a little open chest as you bow forward and down. Notice how deep your breath needs to be as you access so many wonderful little areas that hold on to life and record aspects of life that maybe you don't need any more. Breathe into all these areas. And gently remove your props, step backs and lower your knees down, walk your hands back and sit up on your heels near the back of your mat, option for toes tucked, option to sit on your bum if this is not working for you. Lace your fingers, flip your palms up. We were already here earlier. And a little side bend over to the right, deep breath. Come up through center and tip your arms to the left now. Breathe into the right side, root both sitting bones down. And lower your hands, interlace your hands behind your lower back. Lift your laced hands off your bum, lift your heart as well. Let's do that again. Interlace your fingers, reach your arms up and side bend over towards the right with your front ribs knitting in. And breathe yourself up through center and over to the left. Right, so it's fiery. We're doing a lot for the shoulders, for hamstrings, calves, but can you make it easy? Make it feel easeful. Take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, lift your chest, squeeze your shoulders together on your back. Breathe your heart open. Come into a child's pose. So option to do the child's pose that we did earlier, just essentially arms, forearms on the floor, or for a little more, put blocks under your palms or books under your palms. Be sure your blocks have walked forward enough so you can really stretch back into this, with hips back in your heels and elbows off the ground. Really active inhales, slowly fill up into the mid backs and long exhales, hips draw back. Walk your hands over to the right or take your blocks with you. That'll be nice and juicy for your lats and your shoulders. Walk your blocks through center and over to the left or just hands over to the left off center child's pose deep breath notice what you notice now the second time here things are always changing <laughs> seasons days nights what a gift you can be here with your breath and and support the change be part of this change for your lovely body and from hands and knees we're going to take cat cows again i'm doing my Cat cows with hands on blocks because that actually deepens the curve in the spine. Arc and round. Inhale to arc. Exhale to round. Allow it to feel easeful. Sometimes healing feels like it's really hard work. What if you could allow it to feel easeful? Healing and transformation. Returning to the light of spring, it's easy and easeful.
and set your blocks to the side and from all fours, lift your left leg and crisscross your left foot off your mat to the right while walking left hand forward several inches. Look back over your right shoulder, essentially to help tighten the whole right side waist and help stretch open your whole left side waist even more. As though you only have a left lung, breathe into the left side. Look forward and step your left foot all the way up to the left edge of your mat. Prop your blocks underneath your hands if you did on the other side and keep that lunge. Look up as you inhale, widen your chest, shoulders back. Exhale to shift your pelvis back and dig your front heel into the mat and straightening little fold. And then flow at your own pace. Inhale, bend your front leg, heart up. So maybe one breath per movement. Exhale, going back into that wide wide-legged hamstring stretch, basically. Or you can always take a few extra breaths wherever your body needs them. Wherever you're hearing that call for more space and more openness, breathe your body open. Your timing is perfect. The next time you bend your front leg and come into that lunge, set your blocks aside, walking right hand to the right an inch. Take your left arm up and over your left ear in a, a twist with a left side body opener. Keep front knee bent deeply, draw your outer left hip back and increase the distance between left hip and left fingertips and twist to the left. Spiral your chest up towards the sky. Return your hands inside your front foot just a little bit longer here. This is a lizard. Notice your breath. Let your breath guide you into the variation that's perfect for your body. If on the other side you tucked left shoulder behind left knee, try that here. Press your left shoulder into your left calf. Lengthen your spinal column. Regulate your breath. And to release, come up, wiggle your foot, front foot between your hands, step your back foot forward and fold near the front of your mat. Feel free to stay in this fold or for something a little bit juicier and more fun, perhaps put a block underneath your right foot. Still have your feet hip width apart, please. Be sure that your 10 toes are lined across. Bend that leg a lot that's on a block. Walk your hands in the opposite direction, maybe with a block under them, and then start slowly straightening your leg, that right leg that has the block under it, slowly straightening. Deep breaths all around that hip socket. Deep breaths into your mid back. Walk your hands back through center, bend both legs and switch the foot that the block is underneath. Start with a pretty deep bend in that leg and walk your hands in the opposite direction to the opposite side. With a dense weight in your left foot or the foot that's on the block, push down, gently extend that leg a bit straighter. For me, my leg doesn't get totally straight. Notice the breath, that's the key. Right, that's the key to cleansing and releasing and resetting the breath. Walk your hands back to center. Remove your 
blocks and step your right foot about four feet back. Be sure feet are about hip width apart from left to right. And lift up onto the heel of your front foot and slide a block or a book under the ball of your left foot, under the ball of your front foot, that left one. Be up on the ball of your back foot. And with both legs a little bit straighter, press the ball of your foot into the block. Lean in there. And let your sides of your waist draw forward and down. Aware of that breath. Breath to revitalize, right? You've got props, you've got your body, you've got your intention to help your whole, your whole system revitalize, but the breath is the nectar. Just remove your blocks, slowly come onto your knees and sit up on your heels near the back of your mat. Let's do this again, one more time. Interlace your fingers, stretch both arms up, 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 up. Tip your arms to the right for a breath, chin off your chest. Come up and over to the left. Up through center, release your arms to clasp hands behind your low back. And as you pull your laced hands up away from the floor, lift your upper chest, open your pectorals. One more, interlace your fingers, arms up and over to the right. And come back up and over to the left. With nice long straight arms, deep breath. Interlace your hands down behind your lower back as though you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Lower your hands to the floor and set up your blocks about halfway back on your mat so that you sit down on your bum and put one block underneath your shoulder blades pretty high up. One block goes under your shoulder blades. Grab the other block with your hands and put it under the back of your head. So bum is on the ground, nothing under your low back. I have my legs in butterfly. You can choose any leg variation that's comfortable for your knees. Find cactus arms, bend your arms out to the sides, working the, the backs of your forearms down to the floor. So elbows and backs of your hands, try to touch the floor at the same rate. Now, if your forearms don't touch the floor, that's great news. You can feel the stretch, that's perfect. It's good to explore that. It's important to be here, exploring. Breathe into the stuck spots. This is how we set them free. This is how we move forward in clarity into whatever season or cycle comes next. We breathe through the stuck spots. And rather than allowing this to be a back bend, knit your front ribs in and down. And maybe you just straighten your arms an inch or so as though you're working towards a V-shape arms back alongside your head. And then you could come back to bent arms, a cactus shape. Feel free to play around. When it's time for you, ease yourself up, move your blocks, lie down on your back. No hurry. Starting with right ankle crossed over left thigh for thread the needle. Option to pick up your legs, interlace your hands behind left hamstrings. And in your thread the needle pose, notice what it's like to breathe and feel more open, feel more spacious. Perhaps in your hips or perhaps in some kind of mental chatter. Your breath is just that powerful. It can help all of it. Good, another full breath or two for all around the right hip. Thinking a, a little prayer of thank you for this hip. It does so much for you, it carries you through so many seasons. 
Let's come into an eagle legs twist. So same side, just bring your left foot down and cross your right thigh on top of your left thigh. Simply close the gap between your legs with right leg on top. Move your hips to the right an inch or two and twist your knees all the way over to the left. Guide your knees a bit closer up to your chest as they twist over to the left. I have a block underneath my knees because it's quite a tight little twist. I like the support so that it feels easeful so that I can really tune into my breathing. Be sure right arm is out to the right, broad chest. Let it feel easeful. Coming down, turning within, coming down. Take care to lift your legs back up and switch for thread the needle on the left side with left ankle crossed over right thigh. Come into this incredible breath. Be aware of every inhale and every exhale. Press your shoulder blades down, your outer shoulders down. Have a good breathe. Coming back to life after a long winter. <laughs> I just laugh because even if it's not winter where you are, we still have nights. We have the dark of night, literally and figuratively. We have dark nights, right? We can always come back to life after the darkness. So using the breath, we're going to set up for that eagle leg twist with left thigh on top of right thigh. No pressure to cross your left ankle behind right calf. I'd never do. Perhaps set a block to the right side of you so your knees can land on it and open your left arm out to the left. Full breaths. What a gift to be here. This breath, this time on earth, these cycles, it's all a gift. Slowly untwist. And you're welcome to Take reclined butterfly with your legs on the floor, or you can move to a wall the way I have for a passive inner thigh opener. It's quite effective because we don't have to over effort. Really great way to fully soften through the inner thighs, the adductors. Legs up and wide. Play around with maybe a little bend in your knees or straight legs. Spread your arms out, take up space. This is how we rest. Sigh out your mouth. It's good to rest. So many phases of dark and light and doing and going and, and balanced with phases of rest. Let yourself release another hundred layers of tension with your next exhale. Letting go is constant. 
I thank you so much for practicing with me today and practicing this, this return to light. Thank you and take good care.